So I'm sure people have heard uh, this story uh, about this 26-year-old uh, woman in Pennsylvania who had a baby in a bar restroom, uh, wrapped him in a plastic bag from a garbage can, and then um, brutally and just heinously murdered him uh, by putting him in this toilet tank and leaving him to die. Um, obviously this is just a horrible thing and this woman uh, committed murder. Uh, just clearly bloodthirsty, premeditated murder. I mean, she obviously had no intention of, 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 of having this baby and, and allowing it a chance at life. Um, and so anyways, I mean, in and of itself, this, this crime is, is just terrible, obviously. It's a horrible thing. Um, I won't even, for now, I'm not even going to talk about uh, how ridiculously close this is uh, to, to abortion. But, but anyways, um, I'll get to that in a second. I, I wanted to touch on uh, this article I came across in the Huffington Post. And just look at this headline. Amanda Catherine Hine accused of giving birth in pub, then abandoning child. Abandoning child? L look, abandoning your child is uh, uh, leaving your kids at home and then just taking off and never coming back. Uh, abandoning your child is dropping your kids off at the babysitter's house uh, and then just disappearing. This is not abandoning a child. This is murder. This woman murdered this young baby, this, this, this person who was alive and had every right to remain alive and, and, and to pursue his life uh, to the fullest. Um, to, to classify this and, and use this headline, abandoning child, is, is disgraceful. And not only that, if you look at the rest of the article, um, nowhere in this article by the Huffington Post do you find the word murder. And I, I know I'm scrolling through kind of fast, but you can go and look at that um, yourself. It's, it's on the Huffington Post. Just you know, obviously search for this woman's name. Um, but uh, this is just uh, classic liberal bullshit. Uh, uh, they, they, they post this article with this just disgraceful headline uh, and then make no mention anywhere of, uh, of, of the fact that this woman murdered this young baby. Um, and it's, I'll real quickly now just kind of talk about what I think their motive is. Uh, to me, it's very clear that their motive in this situation is to avoid a comparison that any sane person would make to uh, essentially late-term abortions in which essentially that is what people are doing when they have abortions very late in a term. Um, now, we can talk about, you know, what it means to uh, abort a baby uh, maybe prior to 20 weeks or so. Um, but clearly, if you abort a baby in, say, week 30 of, of a pregnancy, I, I really don't see how this is any different from that. And so I just wanted to kind of bring this to light and make sure people were aware of this, not only just the story itself, but just of the, of the, the heinous and appalling way in which this liberal media outlet has chosen to report on this story. Thanks.